Hi, welcome back to Movie Duck. The title of today's movie is Breeder. A ruthless businesswoman is abducting young women as part of a gruesome biohacking experiment to reverse the aging process. When Mia goes to investigate, she finds herself trapped, branded, and tortured in an underground medical facility. Now sit back and enjoy. A young woman named Mia enters her room with the intention of being intimate with her husband, Thomas. However, he dismisses her and returns to sleep, clearly irritated. Frustrated by his behavior, Mia heads downstairs. She decides to check her husband's computer, where she discovers an email from Dr. Isabel Rubin, his business partner. Upon opening the email, she is confronted with an image showing burnt skin with the word 14K inscribed on it. The following day, Thomas watches a video interview featuring Dr. Isabel discussing a forthcoming medical procedure called Resurrecta, which aims to restore youth. Isabel notes that, due to specific biological traits, their current clientele mainly consists of men, but the procedure will eventually be available to women as well. Intrigued, Thomas contacts Isabel and invites her to his house to discuss the matter further. Meanwhile, as Mia returns from her job, she encounters Nika, a Russian woman who works as a babysitter for a neighbor. While conversing, Isabel also arrives and compliments Nika on her hair. Strangely, Isabel proceeds to touch Nika's hair and discreetly takes a strand, concealing it in her pocket. Mia and Isabel then enter the house. Inside, Thomas informs Isabel that the resurrected invention must remain confidential until they secure adequate funding and FDA approval. Isabel, however, argues that their aim should be to pioneer the procedure to avoid being surpassed by competitors. To support her case, she shows Thomas before and after photos of a male client named Peter, who appears much younger in the recent photo. Despite her arguments, Thomas, as the company owner, asserts his authority and warns Isabel against taking any actions without his consent. Later that night, Mia attempts to seduce her husband, but he suddenly withdraws, revealing his infertility and inability to fulfill her desires. Upset, Mia leaves the room. The focus shifts to Nika, who collides with a man while heading home. She continues walking, only to lose consciousness moments later. Upon awakening, she finds herself surrounded by two men who discuss their use of a cattle anesthetic on her. They proceed to torture her, leaving a heated iron mark on her body. Seizing an opportunity during an unexpected roadblock, Nika escapes and hides in the bushes. The next day, Isabel meets a new client named Johansson who wishes to appear younger. They discuss the next steps, and she requests him to sign a non-disclosure agreement and make payment in Bitcoin. The preparation process, involving a mouth swab, sperm collection, and blood extraction, commences promptly. Johansson persists in seeking more information about the procedure, but Isabel remains dismissive of his inquiries. The client's dissatisfaction with being kept uninformed prompts Isabel to abruptly halt the procedure and dismiss him. On a different note, Thomas and Mia are in the midst of preparing breakfast when Thomas playfully asks Mia to guess Isabel's age. Mia estimates around 40, yet her shock is palpable when Thomas reveals Isabel's true age of 61. Mia is astounded that Isabel has seemingly defied aging over the 10 years they've known her. Suddenly, a forceful knock at their door interrupts their conversation. Upon answering, they are confronted with a bloody and disoriented Mika outside. Her shoulder bears a burned in mark, D17. Alarmed, Thomas contacts someone on the phone, and subsequently, he insists on taking Mika to the hospital. Despite initial reservations, Mia manages to convince Mika to place her trust in Thomas. Later, as Thomas pulls over near an apparent abandoned factory, he receives a call and proceeds to take Mika inside. Mia becomes increasingly concerned about Thomas's prolonged absence and takes it upon herself to trace his whereabouts using his computer. Receiving a message from Thomas that Nika has been hospitalized, Mia is perplexed as the location marker doesn't match the hospital's vicinity. Determined, she sets out in her car to find Thomas. Meanwhile, within the factory, Thomas confronts Isabel and inquires about the man who took Nika. 
Isabel reveals that the individual is a caretaker she's employed, known as the dog, and his assistant, the pig. Thomas had initially assumed the women were volunteers, but Isabel clarifies that their involvement is only temporary. She displays a picture of a woman named Ellie on her computer, triggering Thomas's guilt. Isabel offers comfort and support, promising to aid him in overcoming his emotions. As Thomas departs, Mia arrives at the building, her presence caught on the CCTV cameras under Isabel's observation. Following the sound of crying, Isabel is drawn to a distressing scene, a woman being electrocuted while restrained on a table by the dog. Mia's encounter with the pig leads to a fierce struggle, but she is overpowered and rendered unconscious. When Mia regains consciousness, she finds herself confined in a room, marked with a dry tag by the dog. Upon Thomas's return home, his realization of Mia's absence prompts him to contact Isabel, who reassures him that Mia is with her. Thomas returns to the building to locate Mia. In a parallel development, the dog orders Mia to change her clothes. While attempting to escape through an open door, Mia is caught by the dog, who binds her and uses duct tape to silence her. He inflicts pain on her using a heated metal rod, then cruelly exacerbates the wound. Meanwhile, Thomas arrives at the building in search of Mia and encounters the dog, informing him that his wife is not to be treated like other women. On the contrary, a dog informs him that the upcoming test will hold crucial significance. Just as this revelation hits him, his phone rings Isabel calling. Granting him a brief respite, he allows Thomas a five-minute window to enter. Upon Thomas's arrival, Mia's fury is ignited. She vents her frustrations about the predicament he has entangled her in. Thomas, in response, offers caution against attempting an escape alone, as it could prove fatal. He assures her of a forthcoming rescue, yet Mia implores him not to abandon her. Despite her pleas, he exits the room. Following this, Thomas advances towards Isabel. She promptly advises him against intervention, highlighting the jeopardy that could befall Mia. In a bold move, Isabel seizes Thomas's phone, commanding him to remain within the building's confines. The sudden blare of an alarm sends Nika on a frantic scramble within the facility. Desperate, she ultimately reaches Mia's chamber, seeking aid. However, just then, Pig materializes from the shadows, dealing Nika a harsh blow to the head using a metal rod. Elsewhere, Johansson reappears to reunite with Isabel. He's notably enthusiastic about undergoing treatment again, having encountered a seemingly rejuvenated Peter. Isabel seizes the opportunity to raise the price by 50, which the wealthy man accepts without hesitation. Meanwhile, Thomas stealthily approaches Mia's door, employing persistence until he successfully unlatches the room. Reunited, the couple's emotional connection is rekindled. Amidst their reunion, Mia's attention fixes on a photo of a certain Ellie with a conspicuous sum of $14,000, prompting her to query Thomas. He discloses the girl's identity as Ellie, someone he encountered 36 months ago at a party introduced to him by Isabel. He admits to a hazy recollection of that night, during which Ellie expressed a desire for restraint. The abrupt discovery of her lifeless body on the bed bewildered him. Panic sets in for Mia as she contemplates escape, yet Thomas reassures her of his unwavering commitment before exiting the room. Shortly thereafter, Isabel contacts Thomas to showcase her latest creation, a biobag capable of nurturing embryos using ovaries procured internationally. Yet, she acknowledges the need to resolve certain glitches, particularly those related to client DNA integration. In a vulnerable moment, she confides her struggle to locate a suitable DNA match. In a turn of events, Isabel effectively persuades Thomas to join forces in pursuit of their shared objectives. Later, Thomas forcibly presents Mia before Isabel, deeming her a liability privy to too much information. After a brief debate over who should eliminate her, Thomas shockingly asserts his intent to personally end his wife's life. Armed with a knife, he escorts Mia from the room, momentarily setting her free in the hallway. However, their flight is cut short as vigilant caretakers give chase. 
In a swift altercation, Pig subdues Thomas. Meanwhile, Dog persists in the search for Mia. Eventually, she stumbles upon a car outside, though its ignition fails her. Before she can react, Dog apprehends her once more. The turning tide sees Pig relaying to Isabel the unsettling discovery of a DNA match between her and Mia. Concurrently, just as Dog stands on the brink of executing Mia, Pig intervenes, transporting her for a mysterious procedure. Subdued and disoriented, Mia regains consciousness while fastened to an operating table. Isabel scrutinizes her ovaries in a quest to identify viable eggs. Upon completion, Dog escorts Mia to a new cell where she encounters a group of women, some of whom are pregnant. A remarkable sight greets her the living, apprehensive Ellie among them. Ellie approached Mia, informing her that her husband had believed Mia to be dead. In response, Ellie revealed that she had been misled by Isabel under the pretense of Mia's death. Just then, a dog arrived on the scene and noticed a woman named Helena in evident distress, crying out due to a severe toothache. Acting swiftly, the dog used pliers to extract Helena's tooth. The excruciating pain caused Helena to involuntarily cry out, leading to the dog stapling her mouth shut. Witnessing this horrifying sight, Ellie's tolerance reached its breaking point. She confronted the man, unleashing a barrage of insults. Despite Ellie's pregnant state, the dog brutally attacked her, causing her water to break. Panicked, the dog rushed to summon Isabel. Fortunately, Mia successfully gave birth with Isabel's assistance. However, before Mia could even hold her newborn, Isabel took the baby away. Later, the dog returned with supplies. In a calculated move, Mia deliberately provoked the dog by urinating on the ground. This ploy led the dog to enter her cell, intending to harm her. Mia seized the opportunity to fight back, ultimately grabbing the man's dagger and stabbing him. After incapacitating the dog, Mia promptly released another captive woman, and together they set out to find Mia's newborn. Their search led them to a room emitting a foul odor. Upon opening a container, they discovered the grim sight of discarded dead babies. In the midst of this chilling revelation, they heard a baby crying from a distance and hastened toward the sound, regained consciousness. Desperate to locate Mia, he managed to free two imprisoned women and entrusted them with the task of liberating the others. In the laboratory, just as Isabel was about to dissect the baby, the freed women confronted her. Exploiting the chaos, Isabel made her escape, leaving Pig to obstruct the women's path. Nevertheless, the women joined forces and overpowered Pig, ending his life. Mia's pursuit of Isabel continued, but Dog confronted her. Mia found temporary refuge in a locker, only for Dog to uncover her hiding place. In a pivotal moment, Thomas appeared, distracting Dog. A brutal struggle ensued, during which Mia electrocuted Dog with an electric taser. Simultaneously, Isabel collected DNA samples from her lab before attempting to flee. Her escape was interrupted as she encountered the vengeful freed women who savagely attacked her. Some time later, Dog awoke confined to a metal container, while Isabel was bound to a pole. Amidst his angry outbursts, the woman assertively urinated on Dog. This surprise tactic allowed the women to overpower him. Isabel managed to untie herself, grabbing a screwdriver in the process. However, the women closed in on her, leaving her with no escape. In a desperate act, Isabel impaled herself on the screwdriver. Subsequently, an ambulance and the police arrived at the scene. In the aftermath, Mia testified that the incidents had been concealed with no traces left in Isabel's database or any client's names. She also cleared her husband's name of any wrongdoing. Finally, Mia and Thomas returned to their peaceful life. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and enable notifications for more content like this.